Hi, it's Dale from The Average Joanne. I hope everybody is safe and doing well during these very difficult times. Um, I know everybody is inside a lot more. We're doing this social distancing um, and it can leave people really bored and trying to find things to do including me. So I've been doing a lot of research and looking around the house and thinking, what can I do that's going to keep me active? Um, things that I can learn. Uh, learning is great, um, especially if you can do it right from home with a lot of things that are in your own home. So in this video, we're going to be drying some flowers. It only takes a few minutes. Um, it's a lot of fun. There's lots of things you can do with dried flowers from homemade potpourri uh, to dried flower art. Um, we're going to be doing some homemade paper uh, in the next video. So lots of things that you can do. You can go outside, find some flowers that are just starting to blossom. Um, look at these beauties that I just got the other day um, right from my yard, daffodils and violets. Or the next time you go food shopping, you can get a beautiful bouquet um, at your grocery store. Um, your roses are absolutely beautiful when you dry those. Uh, you can even dry the leaves. Uh, green leaves are really pretty uh, in lots of different projects. Uh, so go ahead, go outside, get some fresh air, find some beautiful, happy flowers, and let's get to drying. So for this project, I grabbed a bouquet of flowers at my grocery store and uh, used every aspect of that bouquet from all of the flowers to the leaves. Now there's two different ways that you can dry these flowers. You could either just do single petals or you can take the flower and put the whole thing down and try to have it so it's one big flower. Now put all this stuff that's on a paper towel uh, and you put the paper towel inside of parchment paper and put it on a plastic cutting board. Then you want to put something heavy on top of it. I just happen to have two ceramic tiles which were perfect but you can also put a glass casserole dish on top. Once that's all set you want to place it into the microwave and uh, you're gonna do different bursts of time. The first time around, you're gonna set for about one minute. Now after it's microwave for about a minute, you're gonna take the heavy portion off and you'll see there's a lot of condensation. You're gonna dab that with a paper towel to remove it because uh, the paper towel and the parchment paper is actually absorbing all the liquids in the flour. Flip it over and do the same thing here. And once it's good and dry, you're gonna put the heavy object back on and microwave it for another minute. Now it's really important not to overcook the flowers because they can actually burn. So now I've taken the heavy object off and I will just do 30 second bursts and check between each 30 seconds to see if they are dry. Once they're uh, nice and dry, you can take it out of the microwave and you are all set. You have beautiful flowers that are ready for whatever project that you want to be working on next. So now that you've dried your flowers, what are we going to do with it? Well, if you're into scrapbooking, you can use it for that. Uh, you can use it to just decorate your own 
uh, paper, envelopes, um, create the artwork out of it. Uh, but what we're going to do, and I'm going to be doing this in the next video, is we're going to be making homemade paper out of bills because we keep getting those bills every single day. And instead of putting them in your trash or recycling bin, you might as well rip them up because that always feels great. Blend them and create your own paper. Look how beautiful that is. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and it inspires you to go out and learn something new today. And we'll see you next time when we make this beautiful handmade paper.